Hey everyone, we have a uh, CEO and co-founder of Bazooka Advertising Private Limited here uh, with Sadhana Karwal and Vidip, uh, who are life partners and business partners. So it's a, it's amazing that uh, we are having them here and hear from them, uh, their entrepreneurship journey and, and uh, talk about their experiences working with uh, different clients as they progressed uh, towards their business goals. So welcome, uh, Sadhana and Vineet. Uh, we would love to hear uh, from you how uh, you go, you both started and uh, how was the experience in the first few years while you were uh, developing your business? Thank you so thank much, Raghunath. Thank, you, thank you so much for welcoming. Yeah. So yes, Vineet, would you like to take this up? Yeah, I mean, it was like <laughs> destiny for us. But we never planned uh, to come okay. into this profession because, like from finance and okay. uh, like once finished our studies we just got into it somehow and we uh, you know we have uh, saw a lot of uh, transition and pivots in this uh, industry advertising yeah. we've right. seen uh, many when facebook was coming and you know orkut was going out and all those yeah. things were happening and we like becoming uh, first we became a mainline agency then we learned the art of digital marketing and okay. we saw many and platforms coming going so it was like yeah it's, it was our story like uh, we never planned but yeah it, it happened to us and we just uh, you know carried on yes yeah. i think i would like okay. to add on the destiny you know yeah. it's plans and it was yeah. very natural because you know how did we sail through in the initial yeah. years right right so i think sometimes you know you take time to understand your strengths mm -hmm. uh, and it was with us in the beginning we did not know that what are our strengths but we started taking life as, yeah. as it was coming okay and you know after a few months uh, running learning failing falling we realized yeah. me and Vineet we were complimenting each other as partners right. which was very very important I think that is one of the big things which has happened um, so mm -hmm. yes, he is the strategy guy. He's the creative guy. Right. Uh, he will, lead, you know, he'll research. He's a research-driven mm -hmm. mind. Okay. Me, the people's person. Right. So speaking to you, where are you stuck? What are what is your goal? Mm -hmm. What are your business desired actions? And then when both these forces came together, mm -hmm. I think that did magic for us. Yeah. So okay. yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think for Wonderful. us, we coming as duo has done the magic. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's interesting that, you know, you uh, complimenting each other uh, were really well in business. But a lot of people say that, you know, uh, your your family uh, and, and your business is like separate entities. Because I see that you both are really doing well uh, as life partners and uh, business partners. What is the secret uh, element that you know, you guys share that, uh, you know, uh, makes the chemistry so interesting. Yeah. So I would say that the most important thing is that uh, how well you're complementing each other. I think yeah. that is the biggest factor. Because if okay. you look at two partners and not complementing each other, then definitely that is not a good thing to, you know, involve right. your life partner. But okay. if you okay. are like complementing each other, I think this is the best thing that you can do because... Uh, uh, you get so many advantages over others because you don't have trust issues and right. I mean you can complete each other's uh, so so I think this is the best thing with us. Yes, I think I'll okay. again add on. What he said is very right because even if there are two people, they are not life partners. Right. And in both have strengths in the same domain. Mm -hmm. They will not complement. They will have issues. Okay. Whatever traits you call. Right. Go, etc. It is the same with life partners as well. Right. So I think very early we understood our strengths. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, my department is very clear and Vineet respects and I'm the supreme there. Mm -hmm. The department which he takes, he's the supreme. And we trust each other. You know, we do not right. get into that. Sometimes there are strategy for organizations, for some clients where we also have disagreements, disconnects, exactly like any two partner will have in a conference room. Yeah. So very practically, we disagree, we fight, but the moment you're out, 
it has to go like okay done because you know the mission you know the goal yeah that's so uh, yeah i think it ha- i think the secret sauce is <clears throat> it will work if you guys are complementing mm-hmm. so imagine there are partners and they both are good at client acquisition right there's going to be a fight will be friction there, there sure. will be friction okay. you know yeah. right. i think that is important to complement okay. that's yeah wonderful yeah. that that's the uh, best word that you, that you can put your relationship in it's like complementing each other and obviously there's trust factor uh, you know you guys can trust each other well because you are uh, you know each other uh, in a very deep way so wonderful and raguna i will add on one more thing here which is very important in the journey of entrepreneurship in the journey of entrepreneurship you always do not see highs right. there are highs and lows yeah and you sometimes know, there are abrupt especially... lows and abrupt and, and... Oh my god that is the <laughs> sweetest part of entrepreneurship you know right. so when there are lows no because you are two people and so so close to each other mm-hmm. without any layer so much of trust sometimes it happens that when one person is feeling low the mm-hmm. other person pulls back hey right. everything will be all right come back right. and vice versa yeah it's very very important i think these things are i mean they have played a very yeah. big role in our life you know who has entrepreneurs okay. yeah right right yeah. uh i think sadna i would just yeah you know uh, business close just because of two things one is if we are out of cash or out or second is if you are out of hope so okay. i mean if you are uh, your two people are like business partners life partners one person can you know at least pull the other one if uh, in bad time so that right. that helps really yeah amazing yeah So uh Vinith and Sadna my interests are in how you uh, you know develop your sales strategy uh, and and how you got your first client how how was it like uh, i'm sure you guys were like without any background in digital marketing earlier you said you were in finance and maybe working in some company so how did that transition happen from being an employee to a self employment yeah so this question i'll take yeah. because it has to do with sales and acquisition yeah. so to be honest even though we say it's sales it's acquisition everything like people say before you start cutting the tree mm-hmm. the axe has to be sharpened right and in the space of entrepreneurship sharpening the axe is equal to planning research okay. <laughs> so me and vinit we researched a lot okay and we saw patterns mm-hmm. that how bigger agencies Mm-hmm. are getting clients so digital has come right now we are 15 right. years in this industry okay okay so that time digital was not there digital came in in the middle of the journey okay okay so we searched we saw how people are getting business what are the best ways of getting business you know today also we say this to everybody we speak and this is one lesson that every newcomer gets boss if you do not have portfolio mm-hmm. work for free we have okay. done that in okay. and very very we never went behind money right uh, never uh, mm-hmm. profit to forget we never uh-huh. uh, chased uh, profits money nothing okay. nothing okay. was an opportunity to work and then nailing it awesomely you okay. know so one thing that we did second we had no background there was no godfather right and we had no job history correct so one strategy we need took out that sadhna mm-hmm. people who are advertising in newspaper let's call them up okay because if they're advertising it means they are doing advertising so mm-hmm. some somebody might be happy somebody might be exploring to expand you will not believe i used to pick up newspaper every day Okay. I used to see ads. I used to call there on corporate numbers. Okay. Sometimes good day, sometimes bad day. And with that process, Raghunath, we have cracked Kajaria Tiles okay. Kerowit brand. Wow! And we launched Kerowit when it was coming, re- getting relaunched in 2015. Okay. We have, uh, you know, for long years with Kerowit, and oh, exactly okay. the strategy. you you start from scratch mm-hmm. you know these words they they sound fancy strategy research right. um 
what was the plan nothing just go go to the level zero okay. go to your basics and uh, we were not from that uh, time when you you were supposed to knock the door yeah. but if that was the plan, we would have done that also but okay, i okay. used to call so nowadays people say cold outreach on linkedin yeah. i did cold calling on i did okay, that, okay. you know That's that it. worked so but uh, that sounds like a lot thing yeah good yeah answer answer to this question will actually change every 2 3 years yeah because one okay. when we did our uh -huh. situations were different that time uh, like we were looking for high value advertisers who are like spending who have got yeah. the muscle cash power right. to spend right. an ad and 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 in our time it was difficult to get into advertising if you are not from this industry so okay. but right now in today's scenario anybody can start a digital marketing agency nobody yeah. is stopping and their knowledge is freely available anybody can learn mm -hmm. a, a skill right. and start but the thing is that how to get clients is like that question will keep on changing because yeah. you have to mm. you have to catch the fish where the fish is so right. that that will that will be the you know the main yeah. thing wonderful uh, so i have a, a follow up question like you mentioned that you did a lot of research so does that mean that you know uh, you went to competitors and then understood uh, what their uh, uh, you know weakness or or some opportunity that you might you know uh, hit as a unique selling proposition from your side which will attract uh, leads from maybe their uh, clients base as well is there something that you thought about yeah yeah so it always works because i'll tell you when we started okay. we actually started with two people then okay. we became four and then multiplied and then we went right so you the flexibility has to be there okay so when we were researching you'll see so you are calling kajaria tiles a stock listed indian company Right. So we were they are, they are working with big agencies. Mm -hmm. What big agencies offer and what they do not offer. Okay. So okay. what they do not offer is that a gap that can you fill in? Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can fill in. Why can we fill in? Because we are agile. Right. Can right. they do something? No, no, no. We will do something for free to showcase. Hey, I can do this. Okay. Okay. So just thinking and exactly this is how even today we do. Every B two C brand doing already doing Facebook marketing, uh, video content, but how new players are able to enter or pick up that job? That you have to actually research and see where is that gap? Because every time, if it is a market, there is going to be gap. It's natural. Okay. So you have to always keep the gap, keep filling yeah, in that gap. You have to find those right. inefficiencies because it can never be. Uh -huh. perfect if it so so you just have yeah. to i will always be uh, the scenario that the bigger player will be a little uh, uh, little in uh, inflexible and, uh, and all those things will always be there in yeah. any industry True. so you'll have to okay. offer extra services certain extra uh, you know uh, turn around time you can play on those things yeah these okay. kind of thing you can all ragunath i will add on one thing more here now after okay. 15 years so when we start speaking to our clients and the moment we introduce brand bazooka mm -hmm. just after brand bazooka we say we are nimble precise mm -hmm. and deadly okay so these three adjectives we could now we can say because these are right. the three values or traits that we saw we carried for so many years yeah you know, sometimes we have literally snatched clients yeah because okay. we were nimble we were deadly with our campaigns with our thoughts okay. you know we were disruptive we did not fear you know yeah so i think all that yeah all that works yeah yeah it looks like you put in a lot of effort from your side trying to uh, reach out to uh, for prospective clients and 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 vinit said a good point where he said uh, you know it keep changing every 2 3 years uh, which means that yeah. now what whatever you are following as an outreach strategy would be a little different can you talk a little bit on that yeah 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 you know so um, i'll be very honest what happened we started like that mm -hmm. and we started clients we okay. did great camp we got awards in between okay. everything was all right not all right everything was beautiful okay so we will do campaign people clients will come the clients started walking to us okay okay so there was 
<laughs> a point of time that we never marketed ourselves let me oh, tell okay. you in fact after a few years we never marketed we never marketed okay. after in we never ma- what are you saying reaching reaching out reaching nothing <laughs> happened okay okay do some camp clients will be referred we will do some work then again refer we were always okay. full of work doing a great job happy like a happily living kya wo living happily ever oh. after happened you know wonderful your work itself speaks uh, for for yourself and you don't need to necessarily spend on advertising and marketing no no but i'll tell you what i did because this is important i want mm-hmm. all the younger people to listen but to be honest i think a year back me and vinith realized i don't know how we realized there was maybe some lighting moment or some some bulb moment okay. where we kind of started realizing my god why are we not outreaching okay ha okay. i remember i remember why it happened because we met three four five clients okay and we realized that after covid there is a big shift which has happened in the industry mm-hmm. yeah after covid i say that almost everybody today is a digital marketer yeah everybody True. because they brush their teeth or not they ate food or not but definitely they learn digital marketing everybody yeah that's so true now what happened new agencies came in which is mm-hmm. okay good for them and they had their own very specific niche like a facebook ad agency okay you know um the SCO amazon agency, agency okay. seo agency yeah. somebody yeah. will be a website agency. now what happened when we started talking to clients so clients will keep telling us all this you know and then when we will tell them ki you know what is a brand mm-hmm. you don't realize there are a lot of entry and exit happening in the brand cycle journey with your brand okay you pick up somebody for branding they don't know website so mm-hmm. he exits after that then there is somebody who enters website he exits after that somebody for seo some there is no cohesiveness of the brand which is happening Okay. You know who's going to take brand cohesively? Brand is that. Right. And just because everybody you know everybody was selling what they wanted to sell. Mm-hmm. And it was so much in the media that business owners forgot what they wanted. Yeah. They also started listening ah, I need this I need this it's not a vegetable it's a brand right. has to be under it has to be under one master eye. Okay. You know what happens when you have done say branding when you have done website when you are in the stage of social media and performance in the process because you know the brand in the process if you feel hey i have got 10000 uh, people now with me in my database as a brand right what should i speak so i know from day one what was the problem what is the core mm-hmm. and when we started realize then we started realizing oh my god i think this is the time we should start going out in the market and tell them you don't have to only go to these niche agencies if okay. in case your budget allows and your vision allows hey we exist an agency mm-hmm. up so we do mentoring you know right. so hey mentors like us are there consultants like us are there mm-hmm. so we actually love to work with leaders mm-hmm. of the organization yeah where we actually them grow their revenue okay both definitely the inorganic way the paid way which everybody is doing mm-hmm. but largely organic way organic way okay how will they know and then we realized oh let's start reaching out so we started reaching out but for reaching out as you asked how do we do that yes linkedin is a source email is a source mm-hmm. um, and mostly our content there because yeah. i mean how right. would people know otherwise yeah. yeah okay okay so you post the work that you did in a, a form of a trailer i think i saw some uh, of them on linkedin so i was really amazed by all the work that you is, is, do you have a bigger team or you are just like a few people no 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 we are a big team and okay. we have always been uh, you know under 30 where well, okay. was always been a yeah so you know between 23 to 30 we are always there so okay. we have a proper team of writers designer video editors the entire okay. digital team website team. it's a full fledged team so we are a fully okay. loaded ship you know right. to help right. brand grow that is okay. what we do okay wonderful 
And you said it's 15 years uh, since you began this company, is it? Okay. So at the moment, at this year, what are your biggest challenges in terms of uh, sales acquisition? Or, or is it uh, that uh, you have a full pipeline now? So I've got a great pipeline. That's not okay. an issue. But yes, I will honestly tell you what are issues because there can't be any business if there is no issue. Then it's all nirvana. It doesn't happen. Right, right. Absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah. So uh, one that we want to expand to um, international market. Okay. Brand Bazooka has got work from Africa. We have worked uh, with Afghanistan. We have got Dubai based. We work with Dubai based clients. We have worked with Canada, but it has always, again, same. People walked and they came mm -hmm. and we did work. But right, now right. we want to now we want to outreach and we want to do it in big numbers, you know. Okay. Okay. Uh, so that is one strategy. It's not a challenge, I will say, but it is definitely okay. new. Okay. It definitely okay. Um, takes our energy, takes our effort. Exploring, mm -hmm. failing, falling will happen. Yeah. And uh, all these years, uh, this is the second not challenge again, but this is keeping us occupied. Mm -hmm. All these years, if you stand bazooka, mm -hmm. we have grown very often. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Yeah. Uh, we, we we had no niche. Mm. We have no niche. Okay. So uh, you know, as creative people, we get the kick if mm -hmm. there is a challenge, and if we can solve that. So if okay. somebody comes from real estate, somebody comes from school. Uh, so there are different personas, you know. When somebody okay. comes from pasta, comes from pen, yeah. D two C brands like. Care, home, jewelry, mm -hmm. they dif they all have different problems. And as creative right. people, we liked tackling them. Yeah. And every time we worked, it was important that before, you know, even before our clients and customers are happy, we have to be happy. So we right. were happy and they were happy. We never felt the importance of niching down, which okay. everybody's talking, especially after 2020. Niche down, niche okay. down, niche down. So this right. year, we have thought that we to try niching down mm -hmm. and now we are going down on d2c e-commerce brands which are aesthetically very dependent and driven brands okay, okay. like skincare skincare mm -hmm. or watches. jewelry watches okay. sunglasses those kind of brands yeah right so yes. that is going to be that's it okay. so and one, one more thing uh Raguna, that i i'll just add one thing here that uh uh, the difference between, uh, I mean, why you should outreach or sh you should not outreach is the one thing that we've realized that over all these years, we were getting business, but uh, we sometimes we would just uh, getting, we were getting business and uh, we the, the client was, uh, I mean, we were getting whoever was calling us and yeah. we were getting, we were right. you know uh, handling the business. But once you're outreaching, you can actually decide this, you know, you want to work with the, these kind of clients. That, that, okay. uh, that control is in your hands. So yeah. that right. uh, that's why, you know, we have started outreaching because we realize that, you know, if we want to grow even with, um, you know, even further that we have to get quality clients and also we have to get a certain kind of client who, you, who okay. as per us are, would be most benefited with, with branding because let's say okay. there's a company was into broom manufacturing let's say no no mm -hmm. for that person i can do marketing but versus a jeweler i would be you know i'll be able to uh, increase the perceived value of that jewelry much higher than i yeah. would be able to do for right right so right. Yeah. We have, while outreaching you should take care that uh, i mean the the benefit of outreach is that that you can decide right. that what kind of in, you want to work for Thank you so much, uh, Vineet and, and Sadhana. It's been an absolute delight talking to you. And uh, any closing comments that you want to leave our uh, viewers with? No, I think the only thing that they should go out full on in the market. Okay. Um, every entrepreneur, if you're on, if you're on the journey, go full on. Go full okay. on. I mean, that is important. Yeah, I think, right. Uh, if if any agency owners are listening to us, I would just say that. Uh, you can you should become a brand yourself that's very yeah. important yeah